Good morning, and thank you for joining me and my devotion helper as we sit down for breakfast and for studying God's Word together. On the menu for Eliana, I prepared for her some scrambled eggs. That is one of her favorites. And today, in our devotion, Jesus, he makes preparations as they get prepared for the Passover meal. Mark 14, verse 12. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples asked him, Where do you want us to go and make preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, telling them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Say to the owner of the house he enters. The teacher asks, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left, went into the city, and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. All right, so Jesus making preparations for the Passover. A very special Passover this year, the Maundy Thursday. A special meal with his disciples. And he goes through all the little details, right? Where they're going to go, who they need to talk to to get there where they're going to be, all the fine details, making preparations for this special meal. But really, this has been a plan for much longer than just this day, right? In fact, you can go back to the very beginning. Adam and Eve fell into sin where God made that plan known, that plan of salvation, that a sacrifice would be made, that uh, a Savior would come to take away the, the sin of the entire yeah. world. And then fast forward to the time of Moses where God makes this plan through the picture of the, the Passover lamb. The first Passover with Moses and the Israelites. Shed this lamb's blood, but I will spare you. Pointing ahead to the lamb of God who would shed his blood for his people. You know, what's, what's the plan for, for you and for me? What are the plans that God has in store for us? Here's a verse for you. One that I find comfort in, and hopefully you do too. Verse uh, 11 from Jeremiah 29. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You know, I don't know all the, the fine details that God has planned out for you in your life, but they're there as well. The fine details... Nothing falls short of God's eye and his watch. Beautiful, beautiful things in store for you with the fine details that God has laid out. But more than that, what we do know is the, that Passover lamb, Jesus himself on this Monday Thursday, as he's making preparations with his disciples, he's preparing to go and sacrifice himself. And that I know for sure is that he has sacrificed himself, making you his child. And so, yes, the plans that lay ahead are not for harm, but they are for hope and a future, a future with a God now and forever. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the plans, the preparations you make, all the fine details that you have in store in our lives. But more than that, we thank you for your plan of salvation, which you carried out, showing us that you are the, the Lamb of God taking away all of our sin so that we can be your child now and always. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just a reminder, as we worship this weekend, um, we are taking the next step. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> we are taking the next step in our COVID protocols, um, saying face masks are now uh, optional in church. Um, you know, be wise, be considerate, uh, but face masks are now optional. That's all for now. God's blessings on your day. How are those eggs coming? All gone? Yeah. God bless your day.